We begin today with the tragedy in Monterey Park. Vice President Kamala Harris is currently en route to visit the community that was torn apart after a mass shooting took the lives of 11 people. Our decision to Carlos Grande is live in Monterey Park for the latest in how the community is dealing with this tragedy. Carlos? Well, that's right. As you said, Vice President Kamala Harris will be visiting this location later this afternoon. Now, all the details have not yet been released officially, but we do know that she will visit with the victims' families. People here are still trying to cope with this horrific tragedy. A growing memorial as the community continues to mourn the loss of so many innocent people. They bring flowers and leave notes to express their sadness. It is painful for everyone here. It's very shocking and very emotional. Um, I wanted to come down to show love to the Monterey Park community. Vice President Kamala Harris arriving to Southern California this afternoon to meet with family members of the victims and offer her condolences. People here say it will help in the healing. Something uh, we need at this time. You know, uh, they're very important figures in the, our country, our president, our vice president, and it's uh, an honor for them to show up here, for at least the vice president. It was just after 10 p.m. on Saturday night when the shooter fired into a crowd of people at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio. 11 people died. Some of the victims underwent emergency surgery at County USC Medical Center, and some of the doctors involved talked about dealing with multiple gunshot victims. Always a stressful experience. Uh, the whole team uh, feels a uh, extremely distressed when you see a uh, death, especially when you spend hours and hours in the operating room and a little bit later you lose the patient. The uh, sense of urgency and the sense of resources that needed to care for them just because it was more than one, more than two, more than three patients sort of all at once uh, would, would bring sort of a, a different type of feeling. This comes as members of the Asian American Pacific Islander community discuss gun violence prevention. The shooter in Monterey Park as well as another mass shooter a day later in Northern California were both Asian. These incidents happened during the Lunar New Year, which is usually a time for celebration. Historically, Asian Americans have experienced the lowest rates of injury and death from gun violence because we have had the lowest rate of gun ownership. More guns means more gun violence. To defend our community from further gun violence, Asian Americans must resist the deadly siren call to buy guns. And there will be another vigil here tonight. The president, vice president, excuse me, is also expected to lay a wreath here for the victims. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.